Hi everyone, my name is Lynn and I help people connect to the truest self. So today's video is going to be all about four things that is currently blocking you from success or fulfillment. Now it is my belief and you guys don't have to believe this, it's fine, but I genuinely believe that at our natural state we are in all freedom and abundant, meaning that our soul's natural form is all about freedom, all about abundance. It's only through our journey and life experiences because of cultural norms and cultural expectations and societal you know, beliefs, all those sorts of things, that then we create these barriers and challenges and obstacles that distance us from our natural state, which is freedom and abundance. And so this video is all about things that you're possibly doing that's creating this disconnect from your true success and fulfillment. So the first thing that could be blocking you from success or fulfillment is this fear of failure. Now this fear of failure basically prevents us from taking any steps outside what we consider safe or consider okay. And so this step is the fear of failure prevents us from taking steps outside the norm, our conditioned norm basically. And that is because failure has several associations. And so when we think of failure, we think of being not good enough. And not good enough implies something was bad or wrong. And this condition has been imprinted in us from a very young age from a very early on so if you think back to your schooling days um, you know when we did exams or assessments or whatever it is we got marked and so the kids that were um, I guess that did better than the others they were rewarded and they were applauded whereas the others that perhaps failed or didn't do as well weren't recognized and so as a child we think in a very black and white terms you know you think Oh, if I wasn't rewarded, if I wasn't applauded or recognized, I must have done something wrong. And so that done something wrong, meaning we kind of felt like we failed. And there was that sense of being not good enough. And again, which would uh, associate with being feeling shameful. And so we've carried those associations through our adulthood. You know, we want to stay as clear as possible from anything that could possibly bring about this emotional feeling of failure. So yes, the fear of failure really prevents us from taking steps that will then allow us to experience our fulfillment and success. So the second thing that's blocking you from fulfillment and success is believing that it's just a dream. Now, I, you know, you might hear a lot of people saying, stop dreaming, you know, focus on reality, that's not realistic enough, all those sorts of things. It kind of implies for some, for some reason that there is just two paths, you know, the path of being dreamy or the path of being realistic, realistic. And what this does is that when we focus on what we consider as realistic, and realistic is, it's just perception, there's no one truth or there's no real it's just some, something that we perceive as being realistic when we focus on something that's realistic we create more of it in our life meaning we will basically become our own self-fulfilling prophecy and when we focus on something that's realistic you know we might actually prevent ourselves from any opportunities or taking any opportunities that would then allow us to experience our dreams, allow us to experience what is more than beyond our current situation. So yes, being real, being realistic prevents you, basically, no, keeps you in your current situation, keeps you going in what you consider as your reality. So yes, it is a really big obstacle. People consider their dreams as not being um, real enough or not being true enough. They don't think that it is possible. And so they take this realistic mindset, which is what actually has kept them in this unfulfilled life in the first place. So the third thing that's blocking you from experiencing success or freedom is that you believe that you weren't born for it. Now, this is a very common mindset, you know, people often believe that they weren't born with the talent, they weren't born into certain families that give them better opportunities, or they weren't born privileged, or they weren't born with life opportunities that would bring about success, basically. It kind of implies that some people will get dealt with better hands than others, and some could say that is true or not. But what that does is that you are handing your life responsibility your life situations over to someone else over to the external world meaning you are not taking responsibility for your current situation because you could just be saying oh i was born into this situation there is no point in me trying because um i'm 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 just not better off you know you might hear a lot of times people will say 
with um, famous people so let's say athletes you know like for instance Tiger Woods you may often hear people say things like oh he was born to be a golfer and for me it's somehow kind of like minimizing his uh, you know, all of his hard work, all of his hard work in practicing, um, all of his hard work in his mental practice, mental mindset that he has put into his whole entire life to get him to where he was. You know, sure, he might have been born into certain situations, opportunities, but his hard work and dedication is what got him there rather than him just being born as a golfer. And so if someone was to take on the exact same mentality, the exact same um, process and mindset as uh, Tiger Woods has or any other athlete or successful person, they would have had just the exact same equal opportunity or chance as the athlete or successful person would have. But we often don't take that mindset. We often hand it over to someone else and say, I was the born um, with talent or with gifts you know some people are and so we remove the responsibility because why we do that is because it's a lot easier to sit in our crap basically it's a lot easier to sit on a crap rather than taking responsibility owning up to the fact that we are not taking action for ourselves so yes that is a really big obstacle you know saying that you weren't born for it rather than saying that it does take a lot of hard work and practice to get where some of these successful people are so the fourth and final thing that could be blocking you from a life of fulfillment and success is that you believe that success equals to bad. Bad, I should put in quotation marks. So you may have this idea of this image that rich people or people that are successful or people that have or get the things that they want in life are somehow bad. You know, I used to have this mentality where I just thought all oh, rich people are bad, all oh, rich people are somehow unethical and I didn't want to be rich, all those sorts of things. That financial mentality was such a big blockage. And if you think of terms of law of attraction, you would understand what I mean. So yes, a lot of times what's actually blocking you is your perception of what success really is. So yes, it might have to have a kind of build this, uh, develop a reflection uh, ability to see what your idea of success is how do you view rich people how do you view people who live an abundant life do you look at them and kind of feel jealous or do you feel you know kind of put off and thinking oh they probably didn't earn that themselves they probably didn't put in that hard work or whatever it is so you really have to reflect on what your association of success or rich people or people who live the dream life like what is your association with them because your association will reflect your ability to live a fulfilling life or to live a life that you truly want you know if you believe that it's all about bad and negative things you probably won't pursue that path and you'll never be able to live a life that you want to but if you were to shift your mentality to success, doesn't imply bad or good because rich has nothing to do with bad or good. There's poor rich people, middle class uh, bad people, all those sorts of things, you know. And so, yes, you have to be really aware of that. Maybe your association of what success or fulfillment is could be actually blocking you from living your own fulfilling, successful life. So yes, those are four, the, some of the four things that could be blocking you from living a more full life. Um, maybe have a look about if there are things that you are blocking more of than others and things that you could be working on. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.